When a teenage girl is brutally raped and murdered, what happens to her? Where does she go? And what happens to those she leaves behind? The answers to those questions are woven together into a haunting and beautiful story that just happens to be this week's pick. Normally, I am not a fan of books that are narrated by dead characters. And normally, I am also not a fan of stories where the dead can communicate with the living. But I have to hand it to Tracy Porter. She made me a believer with Lark, a book that weaves together the story of a murdered girl and two of the friends she left behind. Lark Austin was a promising 16-year-old when she was raped and left for dead in a snowstorm. But as in any tragedy, the ripples of her death affect more than those inside her family circle. There's her former friend Eve, who was already haunted by a few secrets of her own. And there's also Lark's former babysitting charge, Nietta, a girl who's haunted by Lark herself. Mostly what Lark is about is interruption, especially the way the lives of the survivors are interrupted and changed forever. And it's a fitting theme, actually, given that in a note at the end, the author tells how her own life was interrupted by the tragic murders of two friends. This painful, memorable book seems to be her attempt at picking up the pieces, something that each of her characters must do before they can finally find some version of peace.